Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this big tiki. It's three foot one inches tall out of harmony wood or heavenly wood, whatever, whichever one it's called. From a uh, goat from the neighbor across the road. And uh, when the tree said to chop it down, I asked if I could the logs, chopped a good in. And uh, it took me best part of two days, but just trial and error. It's the first tiki I've done. I watched. Um, a few videos for inspiration. I watched Geordie Johnson's video. He's got like a tiki and it looks cool. He's got like his, his mouth open. It's only a small one, but um, yeah, that's a good one to watch. Uh, and uh, I'll show you how, how I got on with it. Just used MS170 die grinder, angle grinder, and finger sander. And that's it. So yeah, I'll show you how I got on. So I've just started it off with um, under the nose cut so then I can go around and separate the nose from the top lip and then I can do go around and do the lip around the mouth and I also used the MSA 160C so there's still electric saw as well. And then uh, I think what took me took me quite a while as well is how wet the wood is. You'll see when I sand it and use the die grinder that it just froths up like it just furs up. So it's, I think it's because it's so wet. And uh, I just draw on the face and then I'm go go in go into the line. So I'm just I just go in straight to the line like 90 degrees to the wood straight into the line and then I do like another two cuts into the line at 45 degrees so basically you're just taking a triangle wedge out and that's the mouth cut so I just cut straight into the middle of the of the where I want the teeth to be to separate the teeth but you, I've gone like halfway into the wood as well with that cut so you can see from one side of the teeth to the other side of the teeth so then I'm just separating the beard from the bottom lip and then I'm going around making the lips stand out the um, furthest from the wood the same distance out as the nose so you can see that it's the lip that's bulging out sort of thing and um, just defining the beard and the other lip side of the lip from the rest of the depth so like the back of the wood and everything that's not the 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 teeth, lips, nose and eyes and beard is where I've done them cool like swirly zigzaggy lines down. So now I've got the beard and that, um, the bottom half of it defined. I'm gonna go around the eyes carefully, trying not to go too deep just in case I don't like how it looks. And um, and then separating the eyes and defining the cheeks. I'm sort of carrying on the bottom of the cheeks round from the nostril and the top of the cheeks are starting under the eye and then it, I've got the MSA 160C electric battery saw there and I'm just going around the inside edge of the lip so I've done the outside edge of the lip so now I'm going on the inside edge of the lip so that the teeth look like they're inside the mouth and uh I've got the um, cut saw, green, coarse shaping disc on there, and it's amazing it's compared to using the flop disc and that. It's just so so much faster uh, removing wood, and it's and it leaves it quite smooth as well. So it's pretty good, um, good investment. And I made another white oak heart, which to sand that with anything like a and so 36 grit discs, 36 grit flap sanders, just burning it up and it's not not going anywhere when I'm using the grinder with it on um, on the white oak, it's just making brown burnt wood everywhere. So this disc on that heart went did a really good job at shaping the outsides. So then I can come back through slope with a 
nice and slow with a finer coarse grip because it's already smoothed out it's just having burns everywhere and not being able to shape it other than with a chainsaw so yeah it made that job a lot quicker as well so then I'm just going around with the die grinder with the extreme cuts all burr on there you can see it might just be the silver one and I'm there at the minute so it's just like original course or whatever um, and just going around and just defining the cuts so around the edge of the beard around the lips around the inside of the mat of the lips so like to separate the teeth and then here I'm just having a little bit of a mess about I'm just separating the teeth a bit more but I decide in the end to just go right in there and separate it with the chainsaw anyway look, look at that disc proper worth the investment so I'm just um, just going around the outside of the eyes and most of them that I've seen have got some like sort of like little crown on or like a headband whatever you want to call it so it's got like two horns going up at the front sort of like um, horns or a crown funky anyway aren't they so big round eyes big wide nose big wide mouth little little bit of a goatee beard And just going, going in, going in straight to the wood, 90 degrees to the wood, around the line that I've already drawn on, and then just widening that straight cut out, so taking a wedge out until you've got got it looking how you want it to look. So then I'm just going over the top of his head, doing the the crown horns there. Makes him look a bit uh, a bit mean as well, a bit, bit of attitude on him. And just going around all my all my cuts with the chainsaw with the die grinder and then doing a few details that are easier to do with the more easy to do with the die grinder than the chainsaw. And like all my lines widening them up, neatening them up, all the chainsaw lines going back over them. And then, uh, yeah, look at that disc. Boom. Makes light work of it. Gets it done rapid. And then gets it ready for... You can go straight from the cut tool disc to a nice, quite fine grit flap disc on your grinder. And I realised one side of the head was a bit higher than the other. Smooth that out. And then just like a... As if you're doing fur on a bear or you know chest feathers or weird little feathers on an owl so then I'm just going into the teeth straight line from the top tooth to the bottom tooth so they're nice and equal and then I went straight into between the teeth all the way back to the edge of the lip and then I thought whilst I've got it on the floor sand your base takes less clear coat when you're painting it up at the end and then these just to make it so it you know the back of it looks fun as well and jazzy you could put it in the middle of your garden or out the front of your house and have to be up a wall and the back of it would still look cool so just going down there with the extreme but flame burr puts all extreme flame burr on the Makita die grinder it's the um, the variable speed one, so it's it's proper powerful. But you just hot, be careful with that thing in your hand, and with the disc on the grinder as well, the cut tool disc, with the, the the proper bite into the wood. And if you're not careful, like it'll jump out your hand. Do you know what I mean? Wants to wants to bounce around a lot. And then I thought I'll separate the cheeks from the back of the wood. One final uh, bit of clean up, ready for a, for burning. And we're gonna have a proper tiki. Quick brush clean off that soot with a nylon brush wheel attachment on, on my drill and then final sand.
new toy. Let's go with this, so I see how, how much it needs warming up on that. That's how that turned out. And this is the finished article. Sanded. Burn. He's got a beard, his mouth's open. It's my new branding iron. So I've put my brand on it, and that's what it looks like at the back. Yeah, happy with how it's turned out cheeks big eyes this is his lips beard and just something to make it stand out around the back so it's not so boring you can see right through the mouth there it's literally a straight line from this side of his teeth to the other side of his teeth beard just like you're doing fur on a bear and then just make sure it's all smooth and burning here burning there and then sand it over the top so yeah I reckon I'll be making another tiki, but the next tiki I make, paint like paint, paint it really bright colours or funky colours or something. See how it goes. So, um, almost 300 subscribers. So, really appreciate uh, all your you guys' support. Um, thank you very much, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.